हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आवर न्यू टॉपिक इज न्यूलैंड्स लॉ ऑफ ऑक्टेव दिस इज पार्ट टू एंड दिस लेक्चर इज बिलोंग्स टू ग्रेट टेंथ केमिस्ट्री एंड द चैप्टर इज पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द न्यूलैंड्स लॉ ऑफ ऑक्टेव वेन न्यूलैंड्स गेव द लॉ एंड वाट द लॉ स्टेट्स दिस इज गिवेन इन 1865, but in some other books it also referred to 1864. If there is any problem, you should refer to your NCERT book. Okay, and at that time only 56 element were discovered at that time. And Newland said that there is no any further invention, and there will be no any further invention of other elements. He said that only fifty-six elements present in the nature. So coming to its uh, law, that according to the Newland's law, he uh, said that if elements are arranged, if elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses, here till now. atomic masses is very important according to their increasing atomic masses the property of the property of every eighth element every eighth element was found to similar every eighth element was found to similar to its respective first one and what does it mean it mean if we count from one count from one then every eighth element starting from the first every eighth element has their property their property is similar to the first one and his table is it his arrangement of element is like this if he arrange like this hydrogen lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen this is like music Uh, you can you can call it sa re ga ma pa dha again ni and sa so every eighth element every eighth element starting from the first is similar to the first one here so many examples are present if we talk about the fluorine then it starts from the first hydrogen this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and this is eighth then every eighth element starting from the first every eighth elements has the same property from its according to the first element okay when we talk about the sodium its chemical and physical property is just like lithium if we talk about the potassium then its property likely similar to the sodium and when we talk about the calcium its property similar to the magnesium its property similar to the beryllium and aluminium like boron chromium like aluminium so this is this law states okay so if we count from boron then the eighth element is aluminium okay then the element aluminium is just like boron that sodium is just like lithium it is not so that fluorine just like lithium no this is fluorine just like hydrogen starting from the first one so may i clear am i clear that if elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic masses then properties of every eighth element starting from the first was found to similar to its respective and their physical and chemical property are same so this is all about this law and it has some advantage and some disadvantages and some advantages are like this newland's law provide a base newland's law provide a base for the classification of element for the classification of element on the basis of their similar properties into groups and of uh, groups of its element it provide a base a particular base of for the classification of element this is its first advantage what is the first advantage newland's law provided a base 
for the classification of elements on the basis of having similar properties having similar properties i told you that every eighth element has the similar property from the first one okay and the next advantage is it gave a tubular form from the sorry a tubular form provided by new land that is what is this the arrangement of element in tubular form was provided by new land law okay and what is its tubular form this is raw you can say that this is raw the horizontal lines are raw so firstly the rows are given by new lands the concept of rows are given by the new land okay and the uh, another advantage is this law of octave was first logically it was the first logically basis on their atomic weight this is the first logical before that uh, doverenier gave the trait but he gave only three trait three traits but in this law newlands actually gave the logical basis of atomic weight why we take atomic weight as a key okay so this is its advantage but it has some disadvantages more okay here some disadvantages are also mentioned of newlands law of octave in which the first one is newlands law was applicable only for lighter elements that that's like it is applicable up not up to the calcium what is this this law was applicable up to calcium only that means this law is only applicable for the lighter elements lighter elements so um, till calcium we can say that number 1 hydrogen to number 20 calcium are lighter elements so the this, the first disadvantage of this law was this is applicable it was applicable up to calcium only for the classification of elements when go, when we go further in the higher elements this law was not applicable this is its first disadvantage and the next disadvantage is newlands said that only 56 elements present in nature but we know that in after later on there are so many elements discovered were discovered so this is it's another disadvantage one more disadvantage is he put copper and nickel in a same slot and here one more he put copper and nickel in a same slot and he did not give any clarification of this he did not say anything about it this is a one more advantage disadvantage sorry and a last disadvantage is he put copper and nickel in with the fluorine with chlorine but here we can uh, we know that the copper and nickel are metal and fluorine and chlorine are non metals okay so how can we say that the cop copper nickel is just like fluorine and chlorine so this is a disadvantage here iron copper and nickel all are metals but they are very very much uh, we can say that uh, fe is in a sulfur slot and we know that fe is just not just like the sulfur so copper nickel and fe that means iron all are metals but it is not in a proper slot these are very different from each other in which iron and sulfur are very different and copper and nickels are very different properties have very different pro properties uh, rather than the fluorine and chlorine so these these are some disadvantages of newlands law of octave so i hope 
all things are clear and if there is any question give um, comments and uh, i'll make sure that uh, you have no any problem so this is all about this lecture uh, thank you